Hi guys, let's solve the last question from this exercise, question number 8. So the question says, using a graph paper draw and ojive shows a record weight in kilogram of 200 students, use ojive to estimate something. So for drawing the ojive, the first thing I need will be the cumulative frequency, so that's 5, 5 plus 17, 22, that's 44, 89, 130, 139, 140, 171, 191, and 200. Let's check 22, 44, 89, 90 with 50, 140, 171, 191, 200. Perfect. So what will I have to plot? 40 with 0, 45 with 5, 50 with 22, 55 with 44, 60 with 89, 65 with 140, 70 with 171, 75 with 191, and 80 with 200. Perfect. So let's look at it. On the x axis, I have weight going from 40 to 80. Let's start 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80. This is my x-axis this is weight in kilogram perfect increasing like this this is zero i'll take a kink here because the first one is 40 and everything else is five on the y-axis i have to go up to 200 which means i will have to take blocks of 20 to 40 60 80 100 120 140, 160, 180, and 200. Perfect. This is a y axis, and here I'm plotting cumulative frequency of number of students. There are 200 students. Perfect. So let's start plotting. The only thing remaining is scale, which I'll write once the OJIV is done. So 40 with 0. Right? So next is 45 with 5. Now 20 lines is equal to, if I can write here because I have less space in this question, uh, 20 lines is equal to, not 20, uh, 10 lines are equal to 20 students. So how many lines will be equal to 5 students? So 5 into 10 upon 20, that 2 and a half lines. Uh, this is exactly the kind of questions that I won't like because how am I supposed to plot two and a half lines? How am I supposed to plot two and a half lines? But anyway, I will have to because this is the question. So I will try and plot two and a half. I hope you never get a question like this. Will you, you, please be sure I will never ask a question where you'll have to plot between two lines. Anyway, but this question, the semi part, the parts in this question are very nice where they are using not just the actual number they wanted to calculate percentage after it. That's the reason, only reason I'm doing it. Otherwise, this question has numbers which are slightly weird to plot. 50 with 22, right? So each single unit, single small line is one, uh, is two units. So this one is two students, four students. That's how we move on to 20. So then this is one small line above 50, 44, which means two small lines above 40. Next is 89, which means four and a half small lines above 80. How do I plot it? I just plot it. Next is 140, 65 with 140, which is here. Next is 70 with 171. So 171 will be five and a half small lines after 160. Next is 191, 75 is 191, which is five and a half small lines after 180, and the last is 80 with 200. Now I make an ogive. That's why this is pure estimation because you are unable to plot 171, 191. Basically, any odd number with the way we've taken our scale is impossible to plot. Anyway, on x-axis, 2 cm is equal to 5 kg and on y-axis, we have 
2 cm is equal to 20 students. Perfect. My OJAV is done. Let's see the questions. Question part 1. Percentage of students weighing 55 kg or more. So 55 kg. So where is my weight plotted? On the uh, x-axis. So I from x-axis at 55, I draw a perpendicular onto the OJAV. Right. So here this is two lines above 40, which is two lines above 40, which in this example, I draw a arrow going to y axis. This is 44. So the question says weighing 55 kg or more. Please note this is a less than which I which means the number 45 means 44 means 44 students are weighing less than 55. We need more than 55, which means we need to figure out what is the total number of students. So this will be equal to 200 total number of students minus 44, which is equal to 156. Is this correct? 156, 190, 200. Perfect. So percentage of students, we know percentage is calculated as whatever is the required number upon total into 100. So double zero, double zero, one and 78 so 78 percent students are above the wage of above the weight of 55 kg let's look at number two number two says the weight above which the heaviest 30 percent of the students fall so 30 percent heaviest student so how many are 30 percent so 30 percent which means uh, heaviest 30 percent which means 30 percent of the total number of students so 30 percent of 200 is equal to 30 upon 100 into 200 which is 60 students so 60 students which the top weight now will i start at 60 here or will i subtract 200 minus 60 because since they want um, uh, heaviest student which means we are looking at the top part which means 200 minus 60 140 so i will draw a perpendicular from 140 because above this are 60 students above this are 60 students so i'm starting from 140 right so this question required two calculations first they wanted us to calculate 30 percent of the total which is 60 and then you subtract 60 from the total number of students to get here and this is at 140 i will go down and i will draw a perpendicular onto the x-axis i started from here i reach here this is 65 so you will write the full answer in english with 65 kg i have very less space on this page so that's the only reason you would see that i'm not writing full sentences part three number of students who are underweight so underweight and what is the underweight criteria and part two overweight if 55.7 is considered as standard weight so where is 55.7 so 55.7 would be this is fifth so this is again that's where i have an issue with this question uh, 10 lines on the x-axis is equal to 5 kg right so they want me to go up to 0.7 lines right they want, what is the maximum weight 55 55.7 right so 55.7 so they want me to go 0.7 above 55 so 5 kg is equal to 10 lines which means 0.7 kg will be equal to 0.7 into 10 upon 5 which is 1.4 line i have no clue how they expect me to go 1.4 lines above 55 anyway so i will go two lines above or somewhere between one and two if i can draw if i have such a thin pencil i'll go two lines above this and i reach here right and this is i think is the fifth line so from here i will draw a perpendicular onto the y-axis and this number is 50. yes this number is 50. Yes, in my graph, this is 50. So, underweight student is equal to 50 students. And how many students are overweight? If anyone above this is overweight, so overweight students is equal to 
200 minus 50, which is equal to 150 students. Uh, I hope you realize this question required a percentage and the second one also required a percentage but on the y-axis which meant that we, and this was from the top which meant we had to subtract. Now your homework questions I think some part of it would be hidden in your uh, screen so I will write it again question 2, question 5, question number 10, question number 13, question 17 and then the last one question 21. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. I'll see you with the next video where we start a new chapter. Till then, take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.